I'm going to show you how incredibly easy it can be to create your own web pages on your computer from scratch using nothing more than a simple text editor. Now this on screen at the moment is an example of a text editor. It's called Notepad and comes with every copy of Microsoft Windows. So you should be able to find Notepad on your computer from the start menu. To create your own web page, you don't create a text file or text document, which is what Notepad was originally designed for. You create a thing called an HTML file. And they can be really simple. Um, and so I'm going to type out a really simple three line example now. Put a short message on line two, welcome to my website. And then finish with line three. Line one and line three use special things called HTML tags, and they need triangular brackets. The triangular bracket symbols are on a keyboard above the comma and the full stop if you hold down the shift key. Now, in order to look at this in a web browser, I need to save it in a very special way. So I'll go to the file menu in Notepad and choose Save As. First of all, choose where to put it. I've got a fake documents folder for the sake of this demonstration. And my website is about a dog walking business. So I've already created a folder called dog walking website. If you don't have a folder for your website, you could create one now. And then I'm going to save it as an HTML file. Now it wants to save it as a text document, but I need to change that. HTML file isn't one of the options. So I'll have to choose all files and type the file extension myself. I'm going to call this file index because it's my first web page. The reason for that will be explained in a future lesson. Then I'm going to put dot and HTML. That bit's really important and I'll show you later what could go wrong if you don't do that. Press save. I'll just minimize notepad so that I can see my dog walking website folder now has a file in it called index HTML. And if you named it properly, you should see the icon for whichever web browser you use. On my computer, I use Internet Explorer, and that's why I've got the big E icon. If I double click that file, it will open Internet Explorer. And here is my very simple web page, which just says, welcome to my website. I can actually go back to Notepad and make a simple change to that if I want to, like put an exclamation mark at the end. And then because I've already saved it once, I can just click Save, go back to Internet Explorer and press Refresh. And there's the exclamation mark. So that's how simple this is. You can try it for yourself. But before I go, I want to show you one of the most common mistakes that students make. When they're working in Notepad, they'll create a great HTML file, but then save it incorrectly. They might forget to change to all files and just call it something like my, well, let's call it index to show you the example uh, of what would happen if you forget the .html at the end. When you look in your folder, you'll see that it looks like this. No Internet Explorer logo, but instead just a notepad logo. And that means you haven't saved it correctly. You need to make sure you've got .html at the end of your files.